Hey there, Johnny May here, and welcome to this week's quick tip where I'm gonna teach you how to take any major chord and instantly make it sound jazzy with one simple trick. I call it the two, six, seven trick, and it works on any major chord. So if you're sick of playing chord progressions like this, and you wanna play it like this, then this quick tip is for you. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, we're gonna start with the chord C major. It has the notes C, E, and G. And this is the starting point for making any chord sound jazzy. All of these chords that I'm playing are based on a C major chord, and then later on you're gonna, we're gonna talk about how to do this on an F major chord. So make, you, make sure you can play just a simple C major chord. Now, how do you make this chord sound jazzy? And there's one simple trick that I love to use. I call it the two, six, seven trick. The two, six, seven trick. And here's the basic idea. If you play a major chord like C major, and you go to the major scale, associated with this chord, this would be the C major scale. If I add the second note of the scale, the sixth note of the scale, and the seventh note of the scale to this C major chord, it will instantly make it sound more jazzy. And so that's what we have here in the lesson sheet music. We have our C major triad on the bottom. We have the D, the A, and the B. Once again, the second note, the sixth note, and the seventh note of a C major scale, all right? So I wrote the numbers here in the lesson sheet music. This is the first note, the third note, the fifth note of the scale, and then the second, sixth, and seventh. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Now you might be thinking, Johnny, that sounds pretty nice, but it doesn't have that cool sound that you were playing earlier. How do I get kind of those crunchier sounding chords? Well, that's the next level, and we call this voicing. And voicing is basically where you take these notes from the chord and you rearrange them to chords like this that sound really nice. So I'm gonna teach you three essential chord voicings on a C chord, and then we're gonna talk about how to use this in a chord progression. So check this out, guys. We're gonna take that same chord, C, E, G, D, A, B, and we're gonna move some of these notes down to where the chord's a little crunchier, like that. Okay, so basically I have my C major triad still on the bottom. I've moved my sixth down. I've got my seventh of the scale there, and this is the two, and then I'm doubling the third and the fifth of this chord, okay? And it gives it a really beautiful sound because all of these notes are very close together. And generally when you're wanting to play in a jazzier style, or in this case, kind of an R&B style or smooth jazz style, you wanna have these chord tones close together. We call these chord clusters. All right, that's one voicing that sounds beautiful. We've got the fifth on the top. Here's another chord voicing that sounds really beautiful on a C chord, C, E, G, A, D, E, G, and B, okay? So for this one, I wrote this out for you. We've got the same chord on the bottom, but then on the top, we put the two, the three, the five and the seven for a very cool sound. By the way, if you have some experience playing the piano and playing jazz, a lot of jazz musicians will call this the nine of the chord and they'll call this a the 13 of the chord if those are familiar terms to you. But if you're kind of newer to jazz piano, you can think of it as the second and the sixth of the major scale, okay? That's the second voicing. The third really beautiful voicing on this chord, I love to play is that, okay, really beautiful. I have the same chord in my left hand. In the right hand, I'm sharing the two and the three with my thumb, and then I have the fifth, the seventh, and the second, or the ninth, if you've got some experience playing jazz. Now, if this is too hard to play down here like that, you can get rid of the D and just put the E in like that, and it will sound really nice. Now, before we move on, if you guys wanna learn more chords like these, check out our Chord Extensions and Alterations course over at pianowithjohnny.com. You'll learn all about how to add beautiful colors to your chords. I'll put a link to that course below. So we learned three voicings in C, and you might be thinking, okay, Johnny, that's great, but how do I actually use this? in a chord progression. Like what if I'm playing C major to F major, how would I play these beautiful chords? Well, we already learned how to play these voicings on C. 
We talked about adding the second, sixth, and seventh. Well, what about on an F major? What if I wanted to color my F major chord? Well, you do the same thing. You play your F major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're gonna add the second note of the scale, the sixth and the seven, the two, six, seven trick. Okay, this is what I said earlier, and there are the beautiful colors you can add to this chord. Now, that doesn't sound very jazzy, so let's change the voicing to get some, a little more color or a little more clusters out of the chord. So now I have my F, A, C, I'm adding the sixth, the seventh, the second, the third, and the fifth. Okay? And by the way, I wrote these numbers out here in the lesson sheet music, which is also downloadable over at pianowithjohnny.com. You can also check out our smart sheet music. It allows you to change the key of this entire lesson with the click of one button. So I'll put a link to that below as well. All right, so that's one voicing on the F chord. Here's another voicing, sounds beautiful. I've got my F triad down here, the sixth the second, the third, the fifth, and the seventh. Okay, this is the same chord that you learned earlier on C, like that, but now we're translating it to F, okay? Isn't that a beautiful chord? Okay, the final chord here I love to play, this is the third voicing, is the same one you learned on C, but now we're doing it in F. So we have F, A, C, D, G and A with the thumb, C, E, and G. It's one, three, five, six, two, three, five, seven, two. Okay, this is the way that jazz musicians and improvising musicians think of chords. All right, you learned some beautiful voicings on the C. You might want to review these. You learned some beautiful voicings on the F. Let's go ahead and combine them, and we're going to play these with the backing track. Here we go. sound amazing and basically what I'm doing is I'm starting on one of the positions on C this is the first position I taught you guys on C and then going to F instead of playing a kind of boring F major we play it like that which is gorgeous okay this is one of the positions I taught you on the bottom we're gonna change it a little bit and go root fifth root but on the top we're gonna go two three five seven two all right, does that make sense? On the next measure we go, doesn't that sound great? So basically I'm playing that C major chord. I've got two, three, five, seven. And then to my F major, I go to this position. I've got one, three, six, seven, two, three, five. Okay, really beautiful. And then the final position, doesn't that sound beautiful? Basically I'm playing my C major 13 like this. You can even add the A in there if you want in the right hand, or you can play it like this. There's so many ways to play these chords, different voicings. And then my F major 13, you can play like that, or like that, or you can play with that uh, D on the bottom just like this. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this lesson, I think you'll also enjoy our funk and smooth jazz grooves and licks course over at pianowithjohnny.com where you'll learn lots of other grooves just like this, plus how to solo over progressions like this. So here we go, we're gonna play with the backing track and this time we're gonna just shift around to lots of different positions. Check it out. All right, this concludes this week's quick tip, and if you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 900 step-by-step -step lessons in jazz, blues, theory, technique, improvisation. It's the full learning platform for all playing levels. Also, be sure to check out the Piano With Johnny membership. This gives you unlimited access to all of our courses, plus you get to be part of our live monthly events, including our live Q&As, our live workshop lessons. We do student assessments where you can send me a video and I'll give you personalized feedback. We do weekly challenges for our students, student collaborations, and we have a ton of fun. So go check out Piano with Johnny and I'll see you in the next one.